Hi! Remember me? I used to make vlogs on this channel. I actually have a lot of vlogs that I've made that I, you guys haven't seen. I haven't even seen. They're, they're still trying to be worked on, but I haven't been able to get over my New Year's and, and Christmas hangover of candy and eggnog and all the things, yeah, into this new year. It's been difficult to get started doing any kind of vlogging. Here we go. Hesitated vlogging even right now. Why, I just, Paul? I wanted to get vlogging. Why? But why? I, well, I'm asking. Oh, well, just because... I'm not asking questions here. Just because um, I have so many I'm backed up on. Daddy and I are hanging out today. We're working on a tool. Maybe I'll go into depth on this later. I, I'm a camera assistant for film and video here in Utah. I've had a, a, a nice Rubbermaid cart for a long time to haul all my gear. But I wanted this compact one because I have a car that I want to fit it in. So we've been working on this. But we want a tool to make part of the cart. I need to make, I need to, we need to bend metal. So there's this tool called a metal brake. They sell them, but it's not big enough. And we watched many YouTube videos. We took the best of what we thought from many of them and we're going to incorporate it in our own. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ear protection in and eye protection. Safety first, baby. We've cut a 60 inch piece for the base. This is kind of like the, the part that will be sitting here on the table. This is a big break. We're doing a 50 inch break. So this is a 60 inch piece and we're gonna cut a 50 inch piece of this 3 16 inch, shh, shh. <laughs> 3 16 angle iron. We'll have bra uh, brackets on the ends that will hold it onto the plate. You'll see, we'll do it. So there's the biting edge of our break. Should I go to the edge of that? Or should I just do the triangle? Uh, should we just do it to there? Just to look flush. Couldn't hurt. Maybe it doesn't help, but yeah, it couldn't hurt, hurt, I guess. We had to go to Metal Mart today. That's a, a stock metal store in uh, Lehigh, Utah to get a lot of our stock. But some parts Danny had. So we're gonna polish some of these up. These will be our end caps that hold the uh, biting end, the working end of our tool. Clean those up. Yeah. I'm gonna stay over here in this side of the garage. Danny's doing something over there. My bad. Okay, we've decided not to flatten our edge. What we are going to do, say this is our this is our edge there. We are going to take a grinder and grind off the edge of that so it would be a sharp edge, the biting edge of our metal brake. But we don't have a tool to do it like perfectly exact. We were just gonna grind it, but we just decided to leave it round, leave it where it lies. We're gonna work on our hinge part. So we're cutting half inch black pipe and five eighths rod. We're going to cut into two four inch lengths for our hinge. <laughs> spacers up here or we cut a hole with the nut and through your table <laughs> so that the bolt goes all the way up and down as far as we want spacers spacers yeah I don't know what do you think that's something to think about for later. think about <laughs> out that we cannot do or at least we shouldn't be doing our bending part at 60 inches along with the base of this because if we want a, uh, a 45 degree angle we need to be able to go like this bend in all the way so what we're gonna do is cut out a notch we're gonna cut this down here and over 
So we'll, we'll put the hinge basically on the bottom part here, take the part that we took off, build a little bridge for stability there, and then throughout the somewhere else. Yay! 60 inches. inch pipe and 5 8 rod ready to go on our center point and hopefully that is correct. Time to weld. We're gonna tack offset one here and one here and I've cleaned it with alcohol. Try to get some of the imperfection off of there so let's do it. First stages, let's try bending. Oh yeah. Bend that metal. Nice. It's a day later and we are working on our metal break again. I might be talking loud because I have earplugs in. My camera died yesterday. I'm wearing the same stuff because it's my grubs. But um, we've welded the, the hinge part on both sides and now we're going to fit it after me breaking two of the welds yesterday by testing yeah <laughs> I, I pulled up on it a little bit and it popped so we redid a couple welds now we're going to test the hinge part together grinding is always helpful when we do these especially for these tight hinges we made them pretty good because they're super yeah tight. yeah but just too tight for the aggressiveness that we need to do here i mean it fits Nicely, but there's little beads from welding that need to be knocked off and sanded, so uh, sanding continues. We're having a fitment problem. We'll figure it out. I almost had a heart attack because we have lined, we have taken such care into making this plane right here so flat and getting these hinge pins. It was a challenge, but I knew we had it right. We just couldn't figure it out. So it was this piece of metal had to be flipped upside down the other way. So I think we're good because it looks good because it actually looks good now. Whew, so we gotta test out the hinge now, see if it hinges. Yeah, it looks like it. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the way it's to do it. It's tight, but it's it's it'll nothing we can't grind, it'll, maybe. It'll loosen up after we do it 100 million times. You know what I was thinking? When I when I left here last night, I was thinking, we should, t we should plane this. We should take that and, and grind all, along the, the seam and the top. Not hardcore. Be no way I can get that flat enough. I mean, it'll be groovy. I don't know, dude. I I would just leave it because I can... I think it would flatten it out a little bit. I think it would make that seam so much better. There's a tiny it overhangs a little bit, but it's not hitting that. I can still see air all the way through there. Oh, you're right. It's not hitting that at all. It's all it's all just right here. It's dude. just the hinges, yeah. huh? We're just hitting hinges on metal here, which is fine because again, that'll wear down over time. Okay. And when we have torque bars on there. Oh yeah, we'll be able to really. Here, let's put this yeah. where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, we are gonna have to grind that. Oh, that's right. Just do a little notch. So, you know, there's little imperfections, especially because we're not necessarily tool makers because we well, use maybe tools. Maybe we should grind the hinge because then this all fit in there nice and snug. Okay, so we are gonna do some more grinding. Here we go. So it's, it's now fitting right inside the hinges and we had to we had to take a little off the edge there just enough to fit our next step will be to 
notch those on the side. Yeah, I like the idea of a notching. And then maybe go to the go flush there, since we were gonna go there anyway. All right. Smoke you! Wrong answer. It's a lovely hat you have. Do you like it? I like it! Take it! I don't need it! I don't need it! <laughs> now we just need to figure out bolts. Bolts to go <laughs> to hold this whole thing down. I mean, we're gonna be putting a lot of leverage on that. We're thinking five eighths or bigger. Thinking. That's what we do a lot. We, we sit and we go, hmm, should we do this? Maybe that will work. Wait. Let, okay, let's try it. Oh, it was wrong. Okay, let's do it again. Let's. We're very, we're very shooters before gamers. <laughs> but that's sort of the adventure of it. it and is. and that's, that's R and D. That's that's been fun part of it. That's the Green Ghost mantra. Yeah, Green Ghost Productions. Three inches high. Try to measure twice or more and cut once. I better. Don't do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at this day. It's a lovely winter day. There's so much snow. Look at that mountain over there. Beautiful. Ooh. We need bolts, we need nuts, we need metal. So we're going to the store. That way! That way! You did it! Did it! So we're cutting these holes a little wider so that when we put our bolt down through, to seal off our metal when we bend up, it gives us a little wiggle room here to allow for, say, a, a thickness of, of sheet metal. And when we bend and it not work for us, us going, why can't we bend this with all our might? That's well, because that's so tight. We're gonna allow for a little wiggle room. Thanks to all those who made those other videos that helped us on this video. That's better. So I just gave uh, my hand at welding any rocks at it? I, I'm better than I thought I was. We'll just ignore that very first weld. Never happened. Never happened. Take a look at my weld. It's kind of kind of fun to look at. Not too bad for not welding for like six plus years. It's fun. I love welding. We're going to weld the bolts to the plate. Bolton. I am Bolton. Destroyer of worlds. Okay, before I knew it, Danny's got a piece of metal in the in the bending device in the metal break that we just built. And we've got our bolts on that are holding the biting edge down. Okay, let's see this thing work. I wanted the record to show I am sacrificing a piece of metal, nice aluminum, for this thing. Look at that. You can't even bite that. It's so awesome. It can't bite it? Is it's it because it's big? It's well, too I didn't, thin. I didn't clamp it down very tight on this one. I mean, this is too thin. Oh. Interesting. Well, we don't have we might our- have to favor. We don't have our strut support. Yeah. We've done most of this break, but we haven't completed our middle strut system that pushes down in the center. So that is most likely why that piece of metal is floating. Totally floating. Because as soon as I get over here, it gets tighter. Yeah. That's a great example of why we need that centerpiece. What if it doesn't work? Then we scrap it and... <laughs> well, see, it's we got to fix fix our edge on here, too, because it's there's a slight gap. I don't think this hole is wide enough that, where this piece should be more forward more. It's a lot tighter on that side. Keep going! 90! Oh, you're grabbing onto the metal as well? Or are you just right next to it? Oh. <laughs> Looks like you need to overcompensate just a little bit more. It won't go any further because you've got to ground these down. Oh. It's maxed out. Oh, yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Oh. Totally. Oh, wow. A hair there and a hair there. Okay. We're just a hair off from being able to do a 45 degree angle on this metal. Some more grinding, cutting, bolting, you know, the usual. Refining. 
Yes. However, I'd say that's pretty dang successful test. Let's see all around. It looks good. It's not a total sharp edge, but once we're able to grind this, are we gonna grind this edge down? We can either do that one or we can do this one. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe a little bowl. Seems like we could get away with just grinding that down mm -hmm. since it's already exposed quite well. And then we'll be able to go all the way. 45. I mean, we're not going to be needing that right away, but the tool is supposed to do that. We're going to try to accomplish that. Keep grinding it. Now we're cutting out a notch on the top end of the biting edge of the tool so that we can put so that we can put this piece that compresses off of our uh, truss. The truss. Oh, I don't have to yell anymore. Oh, well, I do have ear. <laughs> in. Sorry, we're yelling. <laughs> Sounds normal to me. Yeah, what's happening? We're gonna put a flat plane on the top of our pyramid, and this will push down on it to help that biting edge further, farther, further. <laughs> We've got our torque bars. These will be our handles. It's a uh, one inch pipe, black pipe. We've got a fitting on the end for our hands. And we've got some pipe to nestle in. As you can see, this has been grinding this away just to fit in there just right. And he put a little flat edge on there as well to weld onto the bottom. Almost done. Yep. <laughs> I think we're done welding. And we're just going to put it all back together. We're pretty excited and amazed and, and just like, what just happened? Look what we did. Look at this thing we made. We're builders. A metal brake. Should we show them again how it works? Yeah. Let's put some metal in it. And maybe we can use that middle part. We haven't tried that out. Oh, that's true. We're going we're gonna to test some steel in our newly created 50 inch. Still hot, by the way. It's still hot from welding. <laughs> So we really probably shouldn't put a lot of stress on it right now because it's still cooling. Yeah. But after I that, think that'll happen. That'll help. That'll be that fine. Noise. And then we put these down. Actually, We're gonna have up. some. Oh, make it even. Make it nice and even. Oh, and see, this has some play in it. Since that's a thin piece of steel, we can go like this oh, yeah. and Look move that. that forward. And then tighten. It. What's the wiggle room in there? Is it wiggling around a bit? It's probably not very no, that's tight. in there. Is it? Well, I can and then tighten it. that up. Okay, this thing up. So we've added a big bolt that we've welded into that and then got this, uh, what do they call that stuff? Uh, it's a like coupler. A, it's a coupler, yeah. So it's a big, long bolt that's pushing down on this. Oh yeah, that's still warm. Yeah, careful. <laughs> okay, see if you can do that by yourself. One-handed. I'll do that. There's 90, and you just want to do a little over. Because it's kind of springy. It's springy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's see why we've got that together. How does that bend look? Let's take a look. Whoa! That's a sharp, that's a that's sharp. That's a sharp edge. Yeah. We, we slammed it so thick in there. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So that was awesome. That break with the wiggle room inside of the little bolts that we made the wiggle room for, we're able to get a, a bit of a sharper edge on our bend. Which is pretty That's going to be good. Sweet. That's going to be sweet. The next step is probably tidying this up, grinding. So whatever, this is pretty much working. And man, 
I am Paul. proud of us. I am really proud of us. Look at that thing. Good job, Paul. Yeah. That was cool. We made our metal break and it went pretty smoothly. There's a lot of cutting, grinding, welding. Are you over there, Danny? I am. I'm getting the blackness out of my nose. <laughs> we're showing this off. This is part of the deal. This is what welding and cutting metal does to your nose all day. We didn't pop that garage door open enough yeah, sure. as we went, but hey. Because it's cold outside. It's been three days. Since you look at me. Has it been three days? <laughs> <laughs> it's been kind of three days. The first day was kind of a draw it up. Yep. We, drew, we drew the plans yep. and then executed with getting bolts here, getting going to Metal Mart and getting the metal. I think we spent... <coughs> 200? We spent 200 ish Maybe on this on this tool and they sell for about 250 but they don't have them in 50 inches you can't find them that easily unless you're going like industrial right so with that said we've had a lot of fun with this but I'm gonna end it here so be excellent to each other and ta-ta for now, for now.